guys, in this video I would like to give you um, three solutions which will allow you to use you know, a USB um, flash drive or a USB portable hard drive with both Mac and PC. Um, this is a problem I um, encountered when I switched um, over to Mac. Um, you know, Mac is unable to write to NTFS, I believe it can read, it just cannot write. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, three workarounds more or less. The um, easiest um, thing to do is um, to reformat your drive. Um, so you go to your applications folder and you go to the utilities folder and you open up disk utility and just wait for it to load. And I have got an 8GB um, USB plugged into my Mac at the moment and you go over to Arrays, um, you, you have to um, back up everything on your drive before you do this because it's going to completely format your drive and you're going to lose everything. And you have to select um, MS DOS, um, it's FAT32 I believe. Um, there are some disadvantages to using FAT32. The main disadvantage is um, you can't have files bigger than 4 gigabytes. Uh, most people won't need files bigger than 4 gigabytes. so if you do video editing or anything like that, this is going to be a problem for you. And I believe it supports drives up to um, 2 terabytes, but most people don't have drives bigger than 2 terabytes, so at this point in time it's not a problem. So you will just select um, MS DOS um, FAT, and you can rename it if you want, and then you uh, just select Arrays. And it um, you know, comes up with a warning and you select Arrays again. And um, it shouldn't take too long, it should only take a couple of minutes. And um, now it's already done. So if I close, um, so if I close the disk utility, I can now open up the drive and I am now able to um, read and write to the drive. So, you know, I can create a new folder, whereas before, if it was NTFS, I wouldn't have um, been able to do that. Now, I'm going to show you another way, which um, does cost money, um, unfortunately. However, it is a lot easier, or it's a lot easier if you have files bigger than 4 gigabytes. Um, it's a paid solution, NTFS for Mac OS X um, 9.0, so it's um, for Snow Leopard, I believe. And it even um, supports Mac OS X line, which is um, pretty nice. It's $19.95. I believe that's um, in US dollars. Um, they also have a bit of a bundle where you can get HFS for Windows as well. Um, I personally wouldn't get the HFS for Windows unless um, unless you have a Windows and a Mac at home and you just want um, you know no hassle of transferring across to one another. You can get it in that case. So. Um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, most computers you're going to use that you don't own, there's a 99.9% .9 chance they won't have HFS for Windows installed on them. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with all of the features, um, though you can obviously go to the website, paragon-software.com. Um, and as you can see here, it supports all versions of NTFS, um, from NT 3.1 to Windows 7. So that's NTFS versions 1.2, 3.0 and 3.1. So that's the second solution, it will cost you money. However, if you need to easily um, transfer files um, more than 4 gigabytes, then this is the second easiest um, solution. And the third solution um, is only really for people that happen to um, run Windows, whether it be in um, VirtualBox, um, VMware or Parallels. I personally use um, VMware, though it will work just as well in um, VirtualBox. A little bit more difficult, though it will still work nonetheless. Though, um, see, I've currently got Windows 7 open in VMware Fusion. However, I'm going to pull out my USB and I am going to reinsert it. It's telling me I shouldn't eject it that way. And now, if I reinsert the USB, it comes up with this really nice option connect to Mac or connect to Windows. Um, with my portable hard drive, I store Windows files on it. It's still got NTFS. I can't read it on my Mac, I don't believe. And I always do um, connect to Windows. So, you know, I can just connect it um, in the same way that I would if I was using a Windows machine. You know, I go to my computer and the drive comes up. 
if you um if you use Windows um on your Mac and you don't want to fork out the twenty dollars and you need to use um you know um, transfer files more than four gigabytes, um, I would recommend um doing it this way. Um, and then um, with a lot of these um, solutions like VMware, Parallels, VirtualBox. Um, actually, I'm not sure about VirtualBox. So you can just drag and drop from Windows to Mac anyhow. Um, and you can also create a share in VirtualBox. So um, you could create a folder on um, your desktop and, um, you know, um, from VirtualBox, put them in the folder and it appears on your desktop. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.